Hey there, this is Jimmy Rogers with daily update number seven on Wednesday, July 1st, first of the month, of July 2009. Um, so let's see, uh, first thing, um, uh, Peter K on the comments suggested that I go somewhere different this time and not just keep you guys locked up in my room. So I am out in my backyard. So uh, I hope you like it. I've got my uh, the, the pond behind us, uh, kind of trickling some water. I don't know if you can hear it. Um, and I've got, so there's a serpentine brick wall and the yard and everything. We actually have a pretty pretty neat backyard. We put a lot of years into uh, uh, kind of re-landscaping it from the flat thing of green grass that we had before. So uh, maybe I'll come out here or go to other exotic locations once I've moved up into Maryland. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, let's see. Uh, first of all, last night I went to karate, and uh, totally seemed to be free of any any muscle pain now. So I was I was really able to work out. Um, haven't been doing quite as much uh, technique oriented stuff, or at least belt material that we normally do in a karate class, and been doing a lot more technical stuff because my school is preparing to go to the nationals, uh, which is in Florida, and uh, the my sensei is really gearing up everybody who's going to be going on that trip. I'm not uh, uh, to uh, make you know the best showing for the school. Apparently, the International Olympic Committee is actually watching this tournament uh, closely to see uh, if the organization that runs it would be a good candidate for the Olympics in the next Summer Olympics or so. So that's pretty exciting. It's kind of an ongoing. Uh, project for this particular karate organization because karate is not in the Olympics. There's Taekwondo and there's uh, there's Judo, but there isn't um, a full-on karate. Uh, let's see. Last night also got into like a huge Twitter conversation with uh, a lot of different people on Twitter bots, porn bots, dating bots, and people who tweet specifically only quotes, which is never really done much for me. I try to avoid people who either tweet solely other people's stuff, like big retweeting people, um, without at least some kind of commentary on their own, or uh, people who um, only write down like their feelings and stuff you might put in your, you know, your life journal, or your Zanga. So, um, you know, that's that's just kind of my view on it. Uh, another thing, I had a very busy last night, I was very productive. Um, I wrote two articles for uh, GeeksterSexy.net. Um, one's just a video of some crazy fashion predictions from the 1930s. The other one is uh, essentially x-ray vision that we now have to see through uh, in this test model a fish. So what they do is they use lasers and an ultrasound machine and a fluorescent dye and they mix all those things together in a, in a procedure and they can see an actual 3D model of uh, of relatively thick uh, sample. I mean, it's it's like, you know, zebrafish was the example they used, but um, that's very thick for a micros microscopy, microscopy uh, type of uh, deal. Uh, this morning, or this afternoon, this morning for me, I um, actually won my first eBay auction in years. I really haven't used eBay in a really long time because uh, last thing I used it for was like magic cards, which I'm not, not into anymore. Uh, but ironically, I'm now into magic, like the performance type, and I won a uh, book uh, written by a guy named Di Vernon, who is one of the greatest card magicians of all time. So that was pretty exciting. I had a good good time kind of waging war with one other person, but didn't have to go outside of my limit, so that was cool. Um... Still reading uh, The Diamond Age, Neil, uh, Neil Stevenson's The Diamond Age, and uh, again, just kind of, uh, I've got getting used to the, the language and the way he talks. Um, it's a pretty, it's a pretty interesting novel. I'm, I'm, sometimes I get a little bored with his stuff, but it actually is pretty gripping uh, right from the first few chapters, which I really didn't get with, with um, Zodiac. Zodiac did do that for me. Um... Similarly, uh, uh, Neil Stevenson's uh, Quicksilver, which I'm listening to in my car, is strange because it's it seems it's selections, so it isn't the whole book. It's um, like kind of large passages that allow you to get most of the story, but every once in a while they'll skip something that clearly was a major plot point, and they don't include it in the summary. 
So I'm starting to get more and more lost as the um, as the as the story continues. So I'm hoping I'll get better. They also just after 10 discs, 12 discs, changed the narrator to a woman for a letter written by a woman, and it's it, it until then was just a single narrator going through you know 12 discs. So I don't maybe he quit. I don't know. Um, Lastly, um, I'm, I'm using the HP Media Smart webcam software that comes with the, any HP that has a has a webcam, and it's okay, but um, it seems to have limited options, and uh, I mean it has a nice interface, but the, the, you can't choose where the videos go by default, uh, and you can't choose um, uh, how the in, the item is labeled and everything like that. And I'd really like uh, some more control, maybe some ability to put some some text across the bottom whenever I want. Um, YouTube, I can tag stuff up, but that's about about it. So I'm um, just hoping that that will. Uh, so somebody out there, if you if you use any webcam software, if it's cheap that or, or free, that would be awesome. I don't really want to pay any money for it since this is just a hobby. Um, that's it for me. But uh, I hope you like the garden and uh, um, the background. I hope it comes out nice, you know, for you guys. And uh, have a great day.